we have Gemini 2.5 flash from Google and I think this is pretty rare that you get a glimpse and control of the reasoning process of any LLM. Google is turning up the heat in the AI race with its early preview of Gemini 2.5 flash. It's a blazing fast model that doesn't just respond, it reasons as well. Now you can control the reasoning as well. It's based on the beloved 2.0 flash. This next generation version is a game changer combining lightning speed with deep thinking thanks to the all new hybrid reasoning model. Imagine that you can control the LLM and you can turn a switch on or off to control its reasoning. Let me show you what I mean. So if you go to Google AI Studio, go to Gemini 2.5 Flash here. This is the recent model. Then you see that you get this thinking model or thinking mode toggle button. So if you switch off thinking mode it's not going to enter into this internal dialogue and internal thinking process but if you turn on the thinking mode then you can enable a thinking budget as well of what you think that this the number of tokens that it would cost for it to answer to your specific question for example if you have a historical question it is pretty much certain that you don't need a thinking mode if you have static questions like who built the eiffel tower or something like that static questions you don't need the thinking mode however if you're working on a complex complicated math problem then you need to enable the thinking mode and you can set the budget as well it depends on the speed you're thinking about the process or thinking about the cost that would incur while answering those questions you can set a thinking budget all the way from zero to two four five seven six and it's pretty amazing we're going to look at a few examples but we can see that this is an amazing model amazing blazing fast and you can see the price here this is pretty cheap for example if you compare it with cloud sonnet 3.7 we can see that it's three dollars for 1 million tokens of input but for gemini 2.5 flash it's just 0.15 dollars for 1 million tokens compare that with openai 04 mini which is 1.4 and you can compare this with deepseek r1 0.55 for output tokens you can see that it's 0.6 dollars per million tokens and it's cheaper than the rest of the models so you can see claude is very costly 15 dollars grok is again 15 dollars deep Sig is two dollars it's lesser than open ai but again google beats all of these and if you enable the thinking process or thinking mode then it's 3.5 dollars still less than open ai this is pretty amazing so you can see on the x-axis that's the price per million tokens and on the y-axis is the arena score and you can see that it stands well above the previous models and other models of OpenAI, Meta, Entropic, uh, DeepSeek, Alibaba, etc. Now we have a pretty good control over the thinking budget that we have. Google has decided to give you the thinking budget as a variable that you can tweak around to see what fits best for you. Again, since we are talking about speed and latency and cost and quality, so it's best if you attune that to your specific needs if you're creating a chatbot uh, you know a basic chatbot their speed matters if you're creating a research agent their quality matters we can wait we are able to bear the cost but we need good quality material so let's go to the collab google collab that they have given some examples let's go and try to understand this so the first thing that you need to do is do this installation so we are installing pip install dash upgrade dash quite and this is the name of the library we are using google gen ai anything greater or equal to 1.10 zero because we need this thinking budget then we need to set up the api key so you can go to authentication for uh setting up the api key and then you can put your google api key here next we import so from google we import gen ai from google gen ai we import type then we use the google api key and start up our client and we are going to use gemini 2.5 flash preview for 17. once we have this model we are going to import the pil for loading the images as well and ipython display for displaying the images on the google cloud lab itself let's look at the first example so this is the request with thinking we don't specify anything here then it means that the thinking mode is enabled and it will decide the number of tokens or thinking budget uh, that is required will be decided by itself so this is a prompt you are playing the 20 question game you know that what you're looking for is an aquatic mammal doesn't live in the sea and that's smaller than a cat what could be and uh, how could you make sure so the animal i'm thinking is a platypus so this is the response how you get so client model dot generate content put in the model id uh, put in the content uh, as the prompt here and we get the response as a markdown we can see that we have this response well this will obviously be very good 
these are pretty good models but what i want to really focus on is this so you can see that if we print the tokens the response dot usage metadata dot prompt token count we can see that this is the prompt token so if prompt had 52 number of tokens the output had 2227 number of tokens and you can see this internal dialogue it's 1481 number of tokens okay and the total is the total of output tokens plus the input or prompt token so you can see that it's using this thought process thought tokens of 1481 to come up with the answer now we can disable the thinking steps as well if you specify thinking budget is zero then in that case it is disabled and again check it uh, we can see that the thoughts token is zero here it's not using any thoughts token because you said so next is this physics problem we have a cantilever beam of uh, length this and what do you think of of the physics problem uh, we can specify this thinking configuration at zero in this example and let it run and you can see that it doesn't use the thinking process so it specially gives the power in your hand if you would really want to use a thinking budget you can scale for example you can use this a uh, slider to increase or decrease this uh, thinking budget this is used here as a slider oh, okay so once you run this you get and you can see that the thought token is used here so out of 1496 allowed thinking token the thought tokens actually used is 2366 here now this is an example of a geometric problem here we load this image and then we ask the prompt what is the area of the overlay in region we are specifying a nice a huge uh, thinking budget of 8196 and it's going to give you the response here for a brain twister this is the image here you can see once you load this image we ask this prompt how do i use and manipulate three of the pool balls to sum up to 30 so we have 7 9 11 and 13 we want to make this to 30 and you can see that we are putting a very good thinking budget because i think this is a very difficult problem for an llm to solve if we just add three numbers we see this now add this to 30 but you can see that the manipulation part is key look at the number nine if you rotate it 180 degrees it becomes six then let's try and a 30 so you can see that none of these on the face value adds up to 30 but by rotating this number nine and, and using six eleven thirteen it's going to get to 30 so that is the process that is the beauty of the thinking budget and you can see that it solves this problem in a breeze next solving the code execution tool we can see that we have this prompt what are the best way to sort a list of numbers from zero to n and we can see that we are putting this thinking budget of ten thousand, and we are making some displays here and you can see that we have this answer it uses different tools uh, for doing this and you can see the conclusion here now thinking with search tool you can specify a search tool as well for example this one so this is a tool and google search equal to google search so you can use import a tool from google geni dot types and you can give this tool here once it has the google search tool it can search up for the recent things and it can give you a pretty good a recent and up-to-date response math puzzle we just need to increase Increase the budget in a maths uh, problem because it's really difficult for LLMs to solve and it solves these with ease. It's really interesting that you can control the reasoning, you can control how much you want to allocate to the model because we need to think of cost, we need to think of time and accuracy and really just giving the power in the hands of the developer now this is an amazing thing you can just try this and let me know what you think we have other things going on as well in terms of models there are different organizations coming up with their own models but i don't think that we can call everything a model but i do have one findings that i want to share with you it's called agno.com there the researchers there are talking about agents running in three different configurations so when we say reasoning agents we can have reasoning models just like the models that we have now we have o3 uh, and o4 mini of OpenAI. we have this model that you're talking in this video of gemini 2.5 flash so these are reasoning models we can have reasoning tools as well and you can have reasoning agents as well so it's a complete process of how you can use the reasoning process for integrating different agentic behavior and reason agentic with reasoning behavior in your systems so that's up for another video video but i hope you like this video let me know what you want to see next i'm free and i can do my part of the research and show it to you but having said that thank you uh, watch out this next video bye